Finding short-circuited components connected in parallel on a printed circuit board can be relatively easy if there are only a few components on the bus. You can just remove them one at a time until the short circuit disappears. However, when you have many parallel components, locating the short is much more complicated. This is where a DC resistance meter can be very useful. Usually referred to as a milli-ohm meter, it can measure very small amounts of resistance. For locating short circuits, the process is to measure many places across the shorted bus lines, in this case, VCC to ground, to find the lowest resistance measurement. The lower the measurement, the closer you are to the short. This process can be accomplished manually, but with many test points can take a lot of time. In the test for this video, we are utilizing a Huntron Access DH2 dual head prober to help automate our milliometer measurements. We first started with a bare board and placed a short circuit across one of the capacitor locations. Additional locations were added to the test that share the same bus line connections as the shorted one. Huntron Workstation will control the prober to place the probes across each of the capacitor locations and take a milliometer measurement. The milliometer settings are configured in the Ranges tab for the selected component. You select the tester type, in this case the B&K Precision 2841. Select the measurement type as resistance, resistor range, sample speed, and trigger. The test comparison will use a nominal value with a tolerance set at plus zero and minus 10%. You can set the number of samples taken and choose to use a high current test. The nominal value is set high at 0.1 ohms to make sure the lowest measurements have the largest difference. The test is now executed. We pretend one of the component pads to see if it affected the measurement. It did have a slight improvement. As the probes touch each pad, Workstation captures a measurement from the meter. The displayed values are shown in milliohms. The probes used are standard bed of nails style spring probes that are easily replaced. You can use different styles of probes depending on the application. The short circuit on the PCB is causing the measurements to be quite low at roughly 45 milliohms and lower. When we get to the source of the short circuit, you will notice that the measurement is significantly lower than the others at 24 milliohms. The B&K Precision 2841 shows the measurements in real time. Notice how the value gets lower as the probe settles on the test pad. This test includes a two second delay and a slow sample time to allow the probe to settle. These settings can be configured by the user. Once all of the points have been tested, the workstation software will present a passed or failed indication. Click the Troubleshoot button to view the results. The list on the left shows the failed components with the largest measurement differences at the top. Since C241 had the largest difference from our 0.1 ohm nominal value, it is listed at the top. As you look at each component down the list, you will see the resistance value get higher. C241 has the lowest value, so we can assume it is closest to the short circuit location. The first test was performed on a PCB with no components, so how will this technique perform on a fully populated PCB? A short circuit was inserted on pads directly underneath one of the decoupling capacitors. A test similar to the bare board was created and 10 capacitors were probed, including the one with the short circuit underneath. Probing a populated PCB means that it is necessary to try and test on the accessible part of the solder pad. In some cases, it is necessary to probe the component directly.
Once again, the test has failed and the results indicate that capacitor C10 has the lowest resistance value. This matches with the location of the inserted fault. Note that C9, the next closest capacitor to C10, is second on the list. This tells us that as we get closer to the short circuit, the resistance values decrease. The tests and results in this video were purely experimental to see if you could spot a short circuit using a milliohmmeter on a populated and an unpopulated circuit card. In summary, testing with a milliohmmeter can help you locate short circuits on a printed circuit card. Your test results may vary depending on the complexity of your PCB and also on the severity of the short circuit. However, it also helps you with testing PCB trace integrity and measuring contact resistance on connector pins. The BNK 2841 milliohmmeter is just one of the meters supported directly by Huntron Workstation. Be sure to take advantage of the other digital multimeters, oscilloscopes, and spectrum analyzers supported by the software. For more information, visit the Huntron website at huntron.com. Thank you for watching.